A rapidly increasing percentage of the world's population is moving to cities. In 2007, more than half of the world's 7 billion inhabitants lived in cities, and by 2050, this will approach to about three quarters of a 9 billion population. But with the rate at which the human population is already increasing, western cities are quickly becoming saturated. City living has been known to have strong effects on the body's two types of stress responses. The autonomic nervous system response, also known as the fight-or-flight response, and the slower HPA response. This research will identify environmental design strategies, as exemplified in successful precedents, that have been shown to mitigate major urban stressors and help to improve the quality of urban life as population densities increase. Crucial factors of urban stress are involuntary social interaction, general sense of chaos and lack of control, and the absence of the healing effects of nature. Humans are social beings, therefore are generally happier when they have a sense of belonging. Humans crave engagement with others, but there is a delicate balance. Stress levels are higher when people lack privacy and are forced to interact with others throughout their daily routine. The problem also happens conversely when people do not participate in enough social interaction. The wrong amount of social disengagement can lead to further isolation, which can cause depression. An urbanite is often put on alert the minute she leaves her doorstep. Many examples of this stress are experienced while in crowds. Physical proximity to strangers is commonplace on busy sidewalks and public transit. People tend to turn inwards, keeping their belongings closer to themselves as a form of protection from the unwanted closeness of other people. This feeling of discomfort derives from the body's physiological fight-or-flight response, reacting to many people or potential threats around it. Lack of control can also cause a stress response in situations that are not exactly a threat to one's safety, but more psychological. Situations that submit the person to an involuntary state of powerlessness that she cannot control causes psychological stress that results in the slower HPA stress response. Vehicular and pedestrian traffic, waiting for public transportation, or even sitting at a desk with what seems like an unmanageable amount of work can recall the feeling of helplessness in situations that is out of one's control. Finally, the absence of nature also has a significant impact on stress levels of urbanites. Humans have an innate love for the natural world, or biophilia, that cities cannot incorporate enough. As standard practice, designers are now implementing nature in various building types involving therapy and work productivity for its healing effects. It is particularly critical to incorporate nature for its relief from mental fatigue and its improvements on cognitive function. Nature can provide a respite from the constant stimuli that an urbanite experiences. Design criteria will be developed from this research that can help mediate social interaction at multiple levels, offer control and choice in urban life patterns, and maximize the impact of biophilic principles in order to foster a positive mental, social, and physical environment. To mediate social interaction at multiple levels, the project will aim to provide different scales of programmatic engagement and opportunities for social interaction as well as disengagement. To offer control and choice in urban life patterns, spaces will be easy navigable and offer enough flexibility for the user to feel in control of her environment. Movable furniture, ambient settings, and flexible programmable spaces will be ways in which the user has control of her surroundings. To maximize the impact of biophilic principles, the project will engage the user's senses to natural elements on both the exterior and interior. Green infrastructure will be implemented wherever possible, with every space at least visible to natural elements. When applied, these guidelines will be the framework to foster a positive mental, social, and physical environment. A prototype urban development in the form of a public library will be designed to experimentally explore and ultimately demonstrate these principles in downtown San Francisco. Adhering to these design considerations will create healthier mental environments for the increasing urban population.